Now let's talk on to using Leonardo AI to create awesome stickers. So once you're logged in, you should be able to see the different featured models in here that we could use as a reference onto creating your logos. So we have the photo reel, the dream shaper, 3D animation style, anime pastel dream, and many more. So you could scan all through all of this so that you should be able to see the one that you want to have your logo would look like. So if you want it to be pixel art, you could choose pixel art in here and many more. Since I think this kinds of art like pixel art is actually famous for creating stickers. So let's head down here onto the recent creations. So these are actually done by other users. So the reason why we need to browse onto these things in here is for inspiration. So you could actually check for things in here like stickers so that you should be able to try to create or generate something like that so as you can see in here this one this halloween pumpkin i think this one is for a sticker let's simply click onto that and this is the name halloween and as you can see for the prompt details we have your halloween pumpkin sticker design simple and illustrate illustrative so this is actually for a sticker design so we could actually copy the prompt in here so that we could generate something like this as well then we could use also this image to image so that we could have this one this image as a reference and we could also click onto re remix to copy the prompt and all generation settings over to the ai image generation user tool so you can remix the image generation you could also see the input resolution, the resonance, the pipeline, preset, the prompt magic prompt when it was created, contrast boost, the seed prompt magic, and the row mode. And the model that was used to generate this was Dream Shaper V5. So here are the other photos that was generated by the same model. So we could try to simply click onto this generate with this model so that we could create something like this as well or you could just simply copy this prompt so that you could create your new one from scratch using the AI image generation onto the user tool. So let's simply click onto this arrow to generate with this model. Now once you're here onto the AI image generation page, you could see the type of prompt in here. So let's just paste out first here, the one that we've copied earlier, which is the prompt that was used. So we have here the fine tune model already added, which is the Dream Shaper V7, since that is what we've chosen earlier, or that was the one that was used onto the photo that we've liked in the community. So we have here the tokens that I have is just 14. So if you want more, you could simply click on to upgrade in here, the number of images you want to generate per generation, the other features of Leonardo AI, the image dimensions that we have in here, you could customize it, you could use this ratio, the kite and scale, control net, tilling, image to image, and image prompt. So you could also drag and drop a photo in here to use as an as a reference on the generate thing. So we have a Halloween pumpkin sticker design, simple and illustrative. So what we need to do in here is we'll just, since I don't want a Halloween theme or a pumpkin one, let's remove this too. And let's just leave the sticker design simple and illustrative. So let's try to think on to something that we want to generate. So for example, we want to create a sticker of a pig. So let's add in here, cute pig sticker design simple illustrative and you could also add in a negative prompt so these are the things that you don't want to see in the image you could simply input that in here so that you could add it so let's just not choose that one out so let's click on the generate and this will use for a token so let's try to see what it will give us and as you can see here are the photos that it generated so I'm quite satisfied on how it looked like because it is really a cute sticker that we have in here. So you have the option to delete this image, download this, copy this, and also remove the background. So let's see the other one. So this is actually a really cute photo as well of a pig. So if you're not yet satisfied with this, you could just adjust the guidance scale in here or adjust the image generation in here, add more, or add in a negative prompt so that you could generate again. So let's try out another one. So let's add in here a cute flower. Then let's just leave the other things like sticker, design, simple, illustrative, and let's click on the generate and let's see what it will give us. Now here are the photos that it generated. So we have your cute sunflower. So I actually like this one. 
and let's add the, the other photo which is this one so i think this one is cute as well so for this one you can simply download it if you want it to be saved onto your device so we could really say that leonardo ai is really good on to creating this kinds of things so let's try it out one last time let's add in, in here a bird and let's click on the generate now as you can see here are the photos that it generated so it is a really cute bird that we have in here that we could use for a sticker that we could use also to have it onto our print on demand business so here onto the print on demand you could put in the sticker the design onto your phone cases your hat in here your t-shirt your hoodie or anything or even your mug so you could just simply drag and drop also that one to that like this so that you should your design would be added or your logo or sticker would be added onto your product and there you have it you'll learn how to use leonardo ai to create stickers